Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Macpac Color Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bokachev. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready to fight? Ready. Our round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out this Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the team. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch there by Volkanovski. Again, they clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Flush right hand is true. All right, going. Now we're going. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ground and pound strike is true. Nice work. Nice work. Finish it. Finish it. 
down strike on the ground. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Good, solid strike on the ground. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. 20 seconds left. Final seconds of round one. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again control. He did it perfect. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was, wow. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Nice punch, man. Liver kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He's hurt. Whoa! He's hurt man. Oh, he might be out. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Volkanovski's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Out of range with that one. Just misses with the jab there. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! Another cut in! Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. It's okay. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here oh, in round man, two. Look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Volko. Oh, that's a good right hand. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice. Man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what he's Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Whoa! He wiped him out! All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his